Hi, I'm Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade taco seasoning mix so you don't have to go to the store and buy those taco seasoning packages anymore. Now it's really simple to do. You're going to save some money and you're not going to have those artificial ingredients in the package like the additives and the preservatives and the MSG that they usually put in them. And um, you can control the amount of heat. You can make this as spicy or as mild as you like and you can control your sodium. But I think the best reason to do it is because it tastes a whole heck of a lot better than those packages. So let's get started and I'm going to show you how to put it together. So first we're going to add two tablespoons of chili powder. So they can be a little heaping. And one teaspoon of fine garlic powder. A half a teaspoon of onion powder. A half a teaspoon of oregano. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pour it in my hand and just kind of break it up a little bit so the pieces are a little bit smaller. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. I like to use the smoked because it just has a little nicer flavor. One tablespoon of ground cumin. Two teaspoons of, I've got sea salt here. Now you can add less if you want. Okay, so now I'm going to add some pepper. Pretty much to taste. All right, so then all we have to do now is just mix all the ingredients together, make sure that there's no clumps, break them up. And then we want to place this into a container with a nice uh, sealed lid. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so now that we've got it all mixed together, I want to put it into a nice uh, spice bottle. I have an old one here that I washed out and cleaned, and, and so I'm going to put my spice in this, and it has a nice lid, keep it all fresh. So I don't have a funnel, so I'm going to go ahead and make one real quick here out of some paper. Hopefully this will work. And then I can funnel this in to the jar. Whoops, come back here. All right, hold it up there, and I'll just pour my spice in. Now this spice um, will last, you know, your spices will keep for two to three years. So we're going to want to date this, and I'll do that in a second. And the other thing is, is that this, uh, this has made almost a full jar full of uh, seasoning mix. And the rule of thumb is, so if you're making tacos, let's say, you're going to want to use two to three tablespoons of your mix per pound of hamburger, just to kind of give you an idea of how much to use. All right, so get yourself a label and write what it is, and then date it so that you know how old your spice is. And then take off your label and place it on your jar. So there you have it. Homemade taco seasoning. It's so simple. I hope you guys will give this a try. It is really, really good. And remember, about two to three tablespoons per pound of meat. Now you can use this in uh, taco soup. I have a recipe for that on my website. Um, you can use it as a rub on any kind of beef that you maybe you can even barbecue uh, in some soups, um, you know, and certainly for tacos. So anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch uh, my video today. And be sure and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.